Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just getting ready for the day, but I thought I would jump on here because I've been meaning to do kind of like a little mini life update. I don't often kind of sit down and do chatty videos like this. And I actually have some changes in my life um, to update you guys on, which um, is quite unusual because obviously the last year we've pretty much just been shut inside doing doing the same thing day in day out um but yeah i thought i'd just do a really quick kind of well probably quick i'll probably blab on a lot as well um but do a bit of an update kind of video with you guys um today me and steve are going to go into our garage and give it a massive kind of sort out basically my sister's moving house she's stored a lot of stuff in our garage and when she dropped stuff off we didn't really think about where our stuff in the garage was um and loads of our gym stuff's in there and we can't really get to it now the weather's nicer we want to kind of get that out have easy access to that so we're gonna sort the garage out today um so i'd quickly touch on kind of weight and health and fitness so i said in a couple of my videos about how i'd put on weight um and a lot of you guys sent me some really really nice messages actually so i really appreciate that but i don't want you guys to for a second think that i'm sort of feeling down or um unconfident or anything like that but i think it's just really normal i know a lot of people are struggling with weight gain during lockdown that's completely normal it's nothing to be ashamed of um i know a lot of my friends have said that they have found that they've been putting on a lot of weight as well um and I don't really care about it's not a look thing but I feel like I'm getting to the point where I feel really unhealthy right now and I feel like not just physically but mentally I need to start working out um and sort of get a better grip on my kind of routine and things like that because I know I just feel so much better when I'm on top of things like that um so yeah getting the gym equipment out the garage will be very beneficial from that kind of standpoint um then what are we doing we're gonna be i'm actually filming a couple of videos with steve today as well which will be really really fun um so yeah just the usual um we are it's actually steve's 30th um coming up it's his 30th on the 12th of april which is when they hopefully are kind of starting to ease a lot of the restrictions so we are I don't want to like jinx it we're hopefully going to be going on a little staycation there's a place that we um we originally booked it it's an airbnb and it's like an old shipping con shipping container that they've kind of converted into this little quirky kind of studio dwelling type thing in like the middle of the countryside it just looks amazing we were going to go for our anniversary in november couldn't because of all the restrictions um so we thought look we were really excited to go and stay there so let's do it again um not do it again book it again and hopefully this time actually end up staying there um so yeah we've got that to hopefully look forward to um got some like fun things planned and the dogs are going to come with us which will be really fun as well um and it's not too far from like where we are so it's not going to be like a long kind of stressful journey or anything like that so really looking forward to that um but then main bits of kind of updating i have to give you guys um first thing about our house so i have mentioned quite a few times that when we bought our house it was never going to be a sort of forever home for us we absolutely love our house i i really do love our house um, but we've been kind of toying with the idea of moving, which is really funny. We've been here two and a half years, so not very long at all. Um, Steve, when we originally moved in, said this would be our five to ten year house. Steve's someone who doesn't like a lot of change. I'm someone who loves change, so we're very kind of polar opposites like that. So I was kind of like, oh, it's a two to five year house, and Steve said five to ten years. Um, and obviously we've kind of like dabbled with some renovation and property stuff recently, which I've shared with you guys. And um, obviously it's kind of opened our eyes up to um, just kind of 
setting ourselves up for the future, like being able to make changes to a house, invest in property, um, make smart change, um, smart, what? It's still morning, I'm tired. Um, make smart kind of decisions to kind of set us up for the future, basically. Um, so if anyone doesn't know, our house we bought was a new build. Um, and at the time, me and Steve actually had our own separate properties that we sold and put our money together. So buying a new build at the time was um, a, just a really good kind of easy um, way to kind of... I mean, Steve did live with me in my place. We lived together before we bought this place. But buying our first property together, doing a fixer-upper, just, it just... I think it would have been a bit too much so I'm really glad that we did go down the kind of new build route and we've had a really good experience our place is ta a Taylor Wimpy one um, in case anyone is worried about new builds I can 100% say we've had a really good experience with Taylor Wimpy um, but I just we want something different we just want something different so our house has gone on the market it's been on the market a week um, we've not had a lot of viewings so i'll be honest with that we were a bit like oh okay we thought we'd have more um i've been told not to worry about it um and that basically the market's a bit weird at the moment which i do understand um but yeah time will tell at the end of the day if we don't find the right buyer for this or we don't find something that we really like then we're more than happy to stay here we do really love this house but we are kind of just wanting something a bit different and something that we can put a bit more money into um we obviously we've had our house value because it's on the market we have made well touch wood we should make a decent profit on this house as well just because the market has gone up um not that we've really spent much money on it but yeah, so it should set us up for getting something that would be a really, really great project. So our kind of wish list is um, we'd love something detached. <laughs> uh, something's going to have to give um, in the kind of areas we're looking at, because obviously we want to look in certain areas. We're still looking kind of around the Bristol area. We're looking at specific areas that would have like a higher kind of ceiling price. So somewhere that we know we would get the return on the house if we do any work to it. Um, preferably detached three to four bedrooms um but mainly just something we want something that's just an awful condition <laughs> um, that is the main kind of criteria at the end of the day obviously we want to find somewhere that we really love and want to live there and enjoy it while we are living there but the main kind of driving force for us is being able to make a really good profit on it um and yeah i mean my kind of view is that the next house we'd probably be there like three to four years steve's like no we'll be there two years and we'll move on again and we'll do another one so i don't know about that i think time will just tell with that but yeah that is the reason we are moving it's kind of exciting also kind of scary i mean it is a really really weird kind of market at the moment obviously they've extended the stamp duty holiday i don't think we're gonna get I don't, well, you never know, but I really, really, really doubt that we would find something and complete on it in that kind of time frame. Um, but we can try. We're just happy to kind of, regardless of the stamp duty holiday, we were going to kind of move this year anyway. Um, so that is that little update. Really annoyingly as well, though, like we're just dying to go and start looking at some houses. We have looked at a couple. Um, before our house even went on the market but really annoyingly at the moment obviously because of covid that um a lot of people are saying that you can't even go and look at houses this isn't across the board this isn't all houses but a lot of people are saying they don't want anyone coming to even look at the house until you have an offer on your house so we don't have an offer on our house yet a lot of the things we do want to look at we just can't at the moment um because we're not proceedable, which I do understand, but it's frustrating, it's really frustrating. Um, so I guess that was like the most major update, but then, oh, you know, I'm there straight. Um, the other thing, which I guess is quite big as well, I am in a new job as well. So, um, Loads of people have said like, is this because of moving house? You've like started a new job because of moving house. Um, because the situation was that I was freelance before. 
so i think people assume that this is just what i do and it's not unfortunately i don't make enough money to do this full time um just being honest about that but i am a freelance um kind of like digital designer so i have been well i was a freelance digital designer um but obviously <sighs> I just felt like over the last, well, especially the last kind of year, I've been freelancing for a couple of years now. I used to work in agencies and I just, I've been finding it really stressful to be completely honest. Um, obviously you're not guaranteed any work coming in. Um, I just felt a lot more on edge with it and it can also be really like lonely as well, just kind of working in solitary like that. So that was kind of the main driving force for me going back into a permanent role was having a lot more just job security basically um and just being able to work as like part of a team again things like that um i like i think a lot of people assume that i got the job to be able to move house that's not the case because we actually were looking at um moving house before i accepted the job offer before i even interviewed for anything um and we could have ported our mortgage so like you can basically just push your mortgage to a different house and we knew that was an option for us we had like conversations with our mortgage advisor about that um because getting a mortgage as a freelancer at the moment like anyone self-employed at the moment it's very very difficult um so obviously me having a permanent role does kind of help with house move but that's not kind of like the sole driving force um so yeah i am in a permanent role again and it is full time um, so obviously when I was freelancing, I could obviously really pick and choose my hours. It made it very easy for me to do any kind of content creation, things like that. Um, so it's definitely going to be a bit of a shock to the system, trying to juggle everything in one go. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm a week into this job, so it's very, very early days. Um, and so far it's really good. I still get kind of like flexible hours and things like that. So it shouldn't be an issue. I'm still uploading every um, four times a week as well. So I want to stick with that. I enjoy obviously creating content for you guys. Um, and it's definitely like, I mean, the main reason I started this channel is just cause it's a creative outlet for like, and I can basically create whatever I want. Um, and that's what I really loved like and still do love about it so i definitely want to obviously i don't want that to just take a back seat and i don't want to have to reduce the amount of content i put out because it's definitely like like a passion of mine so yeah i'm gonna try my very very best to keep up with four uploads a week um not because i feel pressured to do so because i obviously know like you know it's kind of up to me what I do put out there, but I, I really want to do the four like posts a week and I'm gonna try my very best to stick to that. And I'm hoping that, yeah, my kind of YouTube and everything like that doesn't really like get impacted by me, but being in a permanent role again. And I don't think it will, but I guess I'm just kind of putting it out there that it potentially could, but fingers crossed it won't. Um, so yeah, first week into my new job, everyone is super super nice and it's really weird starting a job um like fully remote i've never ever done that before um but everyone so far has been like like definitely the nicest place i've ever worked everyone's been like super welcoming which has made things really really easy and obviously i've been um self-employed for the last two years so it was really like daunting going back into like a role where basically i wasn't my own boss so it, like it's been really really good my first week obviously time will tell how things get on i i'm someone who very much doesn't like jinxing things that's why i'm always like really vague about stuff and i'm like we'll see um it's just because i don't want to jinx it um but yeah i'm enjoying it so far um yeah and then i don't think i've got any more kind of updates um like i said me and steve have a couple more a couple more a couple of videos we're gonna film together which will be really fun um i really like filming with steve actually and i've done a video on his channel as well which i really enjoyed doing I'm not sure where i was going with that but yeah that's all i've got to say on that um and then 
also property projects I, my fake tan is awful i need to like properly scrub it off and start again i got um one of the glossy box eggs like the easter eggs of the day oh I, th I don't know if you can still get your hands on them i've got a discount code and it was like for early access as well so i'll leave that linked down below because there is some really good stuff in there and there's some tanning stuff so i'm gonna like this weekend like properly exfoliate and try some of the tanning stuff from my glossy box egg um but anyway i went off on the tangent there um property stuff obviously you guys saw that we did a property project um that we recently kind of completed on and we really really want to do another one we have been looking at some auction properties um but yeah the market's just crazy at the moment like in bristol anyway it's just absolutely crazy it's really competitive which is why like i was just surprised that nobody wants to come and look at our house but all of the houses that we're interested in everyone else is interesting it interested in so it's a bit annoying um but yeah we are on the lookout for another project we definitely want to do one um it's something that we would just do in our spare time and we'd obviously like probably not do a lot of work on it ourselves we would get people in like professionals to do the work which is what we did last time um in case you don't know what i'm talking about i'll link some of the videos that i did because yeah, I try to be as honest as possible about the whole process and what we made and how how much we spent on things and stuff like that. And we were pretty happy with the profit that we made. We weren't happy with how long it took, but you know, the big C word was a lot of um, was a lot to do with that. I feel like I need to concentrate while I do my eyes. Oh, massively cocked that eye up. Right now, I've got to try and match the other eye to the eye that I don't even like. <sighs> that I have to do, I can't really bother um, to fix it. Um, but yeah, overall, like, I don't know, I feel like there's just a lot of stuff that's kind of up in the air at the moment. Um, and I'm someone who, I'm like a massive overthinker, like a massive overthinker. I overthink literally every single situation. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of stuff up in the air at the moment and I'm someone who overthinks something and I, I love having a plan. I just, I, I'm someone who has like a two year plan, like five year plan and I'm just a bit extra like that. And right now we don't really have a plan. We don't know when we're going to have another property project. We don't know, um, obviously when we're going to be moving, if we're going to be moving, um like obviously i've just started a new job as well which is like a massive kind of change in routine and situation for me on top of everything else and i feel like and then obviously there's a fact like covid and not being able to like see my family and stuff like that i feel like for me it feels like a lot right now um just like a lot of change like it's manageable but i feel a little bit unsettled um and yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to stuff just kind of hopefully just falling into place a little bit more because yeah, I don't know. I, like I wouldn't say I'm anxious about it, but yeah, it just makes me overthink everything and like, what if we don't move and what if this and what if that? And Steve's obviously like, he's quite helpful because he's like the opposite. He's like, well, if we don't move, then we won't move. And I'm like, yeah, but this and yeah, but that. Um, So he kind of helps balance me out a lot, but yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of change at the moment and yeah, I don't know, I don't know. And obviously like starting a new job in the midst of a pandemic and like in the midst of a fucking house move, like I just feel like I've got, it's not even a lot on my plate, but it's just a lot of change at one time. And I know earlier I said I like change, but yeah, it's a lot. So some exciting stuff happening but also just some stuff that i've kind of just like got on my mind and like yeah i just overthink things like what if no one wants to buy our house and obviously i think i just have to be a lot more patient i mean it's literally been on the market for like a week so yeah i'm being very impatient um but yeah i thought i would just kind of like touch base with you guys let you know what's kind of going on um ow i feel like i've missed something i can't think what that thing would be I think I'm gonna be dyeing my hair pink soon. I'm a bit nervous though, like, I don't know, I've obviously just started a new job and I, I don't know, like, I really doubt they would like care if I had pink hair, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just a bit like nervous to do it. Um, 
but I really want to do it and I've already bought the dye so I'm probably just gonna do it um I might do it for like Easter weekend or something like that but that is everything from me obviously I'll try I'll try and update you guys as and when stuff does change I would quite like to kind of vlog a lot of like our uh, moving stuff like I'd love to take you guys house hunting with me I'm not sure how feasible that is um obviously I'd have to ask if I'm allowed to film inside the houses and stuff um but oh sun's coming out but anyway I would love to kind of take you guys along with me but at the same time I'm a bit like not superstitious but I don't like jinxing stuff that's why I didn't really want to like talk too much about this too soon um but yeah fingers crossed we will hopefully be moving at some point this year and obviously I'm just really excited to like get stuck into decorating and renovating and things like that I I love 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 doing that um and I love like filming it for you guys and I know you guys really like watching that content as well so fingers crossed we'll find a house that has some really good bones but is an absolute tip and I can take you guys through the whole process and yeah I'm just really looking forward to having a place that we can put our own stamp on because obviously we moved into a new build it was a white box we could well you obviously can put your own personality on a um new build you definitely can but I feel like there's just certain things that we would have done very very differently um if we were to be choosing everything from scratch so yeah i'll have to keep you guys updated with how that goes on um but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know it's been a bit of like a rambly random one but if you have enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video and i will see you guys later